uh, insights by produce pay starting screen. Um, you'll want to sign up so that you can customize your commodities and have your own price report. By default, we show you a few different commodities, but if you wanted to customize your own report, see if I click add your commodities here and then click customize your commodities, um, you're going to need to create your own account. So to do that, you can go to insights.producepay.com. And if you click this login button, because you don't have a login, you can just click sign up for free. Here you'll select your language and put in your email address that you want to use to create an account. So I'm putting in my email address and then you'll click next. From here you'll want to complete your profile and select your country. Um, this helps us to better customize the platform uh, for your needs. And you'll put in your company name and select a company type. And again, this company type will help us to set up the best features for you. So uh, you could be a, a grower or a farmer. You could be you know, someone who also grows and exports. Um, or whatever of these options you think is best. There's also an other if you're not sure. So I'm gonna click grower who also exports. And then we're gonna ask if there's anything that you're interested in getting more information on. Say that's improving your cash flow, lower price inputs, finding new distributors. Um, and you can select those to uh, help customize your profile. Uh, now at this point, um, these questions are related to the services that you asked for. So you can say you're interested in financing or you're interested in connecting with new distributors, we need to know a little bit about your size so that we connect you to the right types of people. And we might also ask you about things like your where you're located or the type of software you use so that we can confirm if you are a good fit. This last step in the process is if you wanted to sign up for our SMS price alerts and weather alerts, you can do that here. So you would just put in uh, your phone number and you'll be getting sent a, a text message with an alert message that you can put in the verification code. I'm gonna skip that for now. Um, and then the last step in the process is that you need to verify your email in order to get set up. So upon the first step, you're gonna get an email in your inbox. It'll say verify your produce account and you'll have this activation code here. So you can either copy this activation code and paste it in the other screen or just click activate your account. Then you'll need to uh, set a password as your next step. You can choose anything as long as it's got eight characters. You click next, and now you're taken to your own portal. Now, what you wanna do now is customize your portal. So I've got avocados and bell peppers, but say I'm also interested in learning about tomato prices. I can click this green add your commodities button here, or I can visit the watch list and click customize commodities. So I'm gonna click customize. I use this bar at the top where it says search commodity name and I can type in exactly what uh, I'm interested in trading and click on the ones that I'd like to follow. So now I'm following all of the different cherry tomato options. I click done and it's all set up here. Now say you forgot something or you added the wrong one, you can always come back here, click customize your commodities I could remove a couple of these and I could add something like cucumbers. Click done and that's it. That's how to get set up. So now that you've customized your commodities and watch list, uh, there are two main things that you're wanting to do. Every morning you're gonna get sent an email which has this price report with customized price alerts for all of the different commodities that you've selected you'll also be able to view them inside the application. Now, say I'm interested in learning more about what's happening with green bell peppers. Say I wanna know price trends or more detailed info. I can click this view full report button on the price report, or I could use the search bar and search for bell peppers green as you've seen here, and it'll take me to this page right here. Now you'll see that we've got a more detailed pricing breakdown 
by default, this is set to shipping point pricing. Now this is US market pricing and the shipping point, it means it's closest to the prices directly at the farm or directly from a distributor. There's also this terminal market option. Now terminal market is more of a wholesale market that is located directly in US cities like Los Angeles or Atlanta or Baltimore. The prices are usually slightly above shipping point prices because it's a little further down the supply chain, but it's still really helpful information. And sometimes you'll find that there's more info at the terminal market level than the shipping point level. I'm gonna switch back to the shipping point prices. So you'll see here at the top, we've got this detailed price breakdown where for the most recent day, you can see by each package type uh, and by each shipping point. So Central South Florida, Nogales, Arizona, what the prices are, low, high, and average. And this is the mostly low and the mostly high price. We've also got the next chart, which is the price and supply trends. So this one is really useful because not only can you see the average price week over week, which is the green line, but this yellow and blue line show you the price uh, last year, which is the blue line, and the five-year average, which is the yellow line. And the reason the five-year average is really important is because typically for commodities, price trends to trend up or down in similar patterns week over week, year over year. Now it's not the exact same price, but usually you can see here that um, you know, in week 11, 10, 11, and 12 of the year, that price tends to trend up. So if you're trying to determine pricing for a longer term contract, this will help you with that. Now we pick a default package type for all of our charts, usually the most common package type. But if you wanted to come in here and select a different package, say you're not selling one and one ninth bushel cartons extra large, maybe you're selling large, um, you can come in here and select that and it will load up the new data for you. Now, if you wanted to just focus on price, you can come to our price history chart and this shows you price broken down by the different shipping points um, over the course of the year, uh, which is really helpful um, if you're more concerned with a specific shipping point and you can filter any of these price ranges, say instead of the last 365 days, you just wanna look at the last 90 days, that'll give you a bit more uh, granular information. And the next part is the movement report. Now this shows you the supply of green bell peppers or whatever commodity that you're focused on that are moving through the United States, um, which is helpful if you're trying to determine you know, our price is gonna go up or down. Usually if supply is very high and moving up, prices are gonna go down. If supply is very low and moving down, prices are going to increase up. Now, it, by default, it shows you all of the supply levels um, week over week, but if you wanted to filter by conventional or organic, you could also do that here. This red line shows you the current week and obviously moving forward in time, we don't have the current price, which is the current movement, which is the green line here. Lastly is weather alerts. So for most of the commodities that we track, we are able to show you weather in the largest growing regions in the United States and Mexico. Uh, we also customize the temperature alerts for each commodity. So say for bell peppers, we know that certain temperatures are too high for optimal growth and that could lead to quality issues. You'll be able to see that, for example, there's high temperatures in this region and we've let you know to, uh, we've let you know what's happening there. And as I mentioned before, it's really easy to move around to different parts of the platform. So say I'm done with green bell peppers. Maybe I want to know more about tomatoes. I can type in what I'm searching for. I can click cherry tomatoes right here, and I'm going to be taken to completely new information uh, so I can see what's going on. And again, one thing I want to note, this is available via email and you'll get that email every single day, uh, Monday through Friday during the week.